everyone, um, my name is Megan, and if you are new to my channel, I am a reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mainly Poshmark. And today I have another Greta box. I have the DIY denim box. This is the second one that I've purchased. The first one I got was the 30 pound box and I absolutely loved it. So you could go check out my video if you're interested in what I got. This one is the 15 pound box. I got the lesser pound one because it was the only one available at the time but also because I don't really need to be selling more jeans. I have a whole bunch of jeans now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly open it with you guys and see what I got. At the end, I will let you know how many items I got and how much they were approximately per item. Um, this one I will say came from Georgia. This is my first box um, that I got from Georgia. I've gotten three from Arizona and those were all great. And then one from Illinois and that one was just okay. So our first pair of jeans, it's the Nobo, which I think is No Boundaries, High Rise Sculpting Skinny, size 11. It's a three button closure, like a very blue skinny jean uh, with some raw hem detail, that's kind of cute. I think No Boundaries is a Target brand, I want to say. Uh, this has that like booty sculpting thing. <laughs> if you've ever seen that in jeans where it goes up. Uh, these are nice size 11 stretchy. Good style which is really important. Alright. Ooh, now we got a pair of Hudson jeans. It's 27. Now these kind of look like an older style. Seem to be maybe like a mid-rise, low-rise, boot cut flare jean. <laughs> These interesting back pockets. Yeah, I do think this is an older style, but Hudson's a good brand, so I'll have to look them up. Alright, we got a pair of Levi's. Levi's relaxed. Relaxed fit. These are really nice. They're high-waisted. They look like boys' jeans. <laughs> I don't see a size, so I'll have to measure them. Um, but yeah, straight leg. Alright, this is Vintage America. Don't know what that is. These kind of look like maternity jeans. I say that because it has this like black stretchy band on the inside. They're size 1231. They're nice, they're skinny, dark wash. I haven't heard the brand so I'll have to look it up. They look to be high-waisted, which is nice. These are very um, older style of jean. This is Mech USA Denim. Haven't heard of that. They look like Miss Me jeans, or at least the Miss Me jeans that I find. Um, like an older design. A lot of top stitching, white top stitching. Mid rise to low rise. I don't know what that is. This is like the back patch. It looks like there's something under it. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look them up. It looks like they're called New York. They have like a flare. And then some wear to the bottom. This... Don't know if this is intentional or not, but some bottom wear. Oh, American Eagle jeans. These American Eagle jeans. This is the relaxed straight fit. I love that they put all what their jeans names are in the jean. Size 33, 34, which is like a 12, 14. These are nice. Very in style, high waisted. All right, so these I haven't opened up yet, but I can see like a little bit of a stain. So these are like a jegging Cherokee, which Walmart, I want to say. It's a size 10, but I think it's kids size 10. These are pretty tiny. Oh. These are Carter's 5T toddler jeans. Again, stretchy. Alright. Now this brand is green. I haven't heard of that. Low rise to mid rise. These are cuffed. 
but they come out. Let's see. I feel like straight leg, semi skinny, mostly straight leg. Here comes my cat. Um, size nine, which is a junior size. I got a lot of junior sizing in my last box, um, but what I said that I do when I get junior size jeans is I measure the waist, uh, which I do with any jean anyway, but that's what I list it as, whatever the waist measurement is. Um, just so juniors and women can look and find their jeans. All right, we got EV1 skinny jean, size six. Again, don't know what this <laughs> brand is. These are nice, skinny, stretchy, high-waisted. They have that um, top stitching, like yellow top stitching on them. Dark wash. All right, we got another pair of, well, we got a pair of BDD, BDG jeans. I got a cool pair of these in my last box. 25 by 29. It says mid-rise twig ankle. So skinny, dark wash, stretchy. Alright. Oh, we got a BDG skirt. This is cute. Button up front pockets. It is a size extra small, which is not great. But it is really cute. I think I'll be able to sell it. I love these front pockets, they're so really nice. All right, now we got a pair of light wash Hollister jeans. Skinny. I hadn't sold Hollister jeans, but I'm actually kind of excited to try. Because I feel like they might be like American Eagle jeans where people know what their sizes are and um, they like them. It's their go-to jean. High rise, light wash. Got a distressed knee. Hopefully intentional. Alright, now we got a pair of Forever 21 shorts, which I feel like you'll always get in one of these denim boxes. Um, I got a pair of Forever 21 shorts in my last one. These are size 28. Nice and stretchy. These are nice. Alright, got two pairs left. Lucky brand jeans. Have not sold these. These are like a boot cut. They look high waisted. The sweet and low regular leg size 28. But I will measure it and I'll put it in the listing. These are nice. Last pair is a pair of old navy jeans. These are like jeggings. 24-7. So junior size, no, 20, size 24-7, rock star, super skinny. They're super skinny because they're pretty much like a jegging. <laughs> um, these are nice, high waisted. They look a little big to me to be a size 24. Actually, these are, there's no way these are a size 24. Oh, these must be plus size. No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's not the size. <laughs> that's 24-7, like. Size 12. Okay, yeah. These are definitely like a size 12. All right. So that's all the items I got in the box. I'll count them real quick and then I'll let you know how much I spent on each one. Okay, so I spent about $30 with shipping and I got 16 pairs of jeans. So everything was like $1.80, which is nice. Um, I like this box a lot. There's a lot of good jeans. Overall, I'd say if you're trying to choose between the 15 pound or the 30 pound, I would go with the 30 pound. Um, you just get more jeans for the same amount of shipping, so the price is lower um, per jean at the end of it all. And I just feel like you have a better chance of getting like really good brands. Like last time I got Everlane and Torrid, but I did really like this box. Um, if you're interested in seeing any of my other thread up videos, you could go to my page. I have a lot on there now. I have done like a five of these or so. Um, this was my last thread up box that I've ordered. I might order another one eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say out of the men's, the women's mixed clothing and the denim, the denim box is definitely my favorite. If you're interested in getting one of these boxes, I'll have it linked below uh, where you can find them. I hope you guys are having a safe time at home and are finding new and interesting ways of sourcing. Have a good day. Bye.